Okay, this is a quick tutorial on using uh, TechPlot to convert data files into our new SZPLT file format using TechPlot 360 EX. So TechPlot 360 EX includes Sizzle technology, and Sizzle technology is basically subs and loan on demand. It's a breakthrough data management algorithms with some advanced data requirements predictors. Uh, we've parallelized it, and as a result, it's been optimized with the, the main benefit being that if we could increase the speed of CFD bus processing, and we consider that basically from the time you load a data file to uh, getting to a plot of interest. And our basic testing has shown anywhere from a 9.6 to 62 times faster than our current release, and I'll show you a plot of that here in a second. It also decreases memory requirements significantly uh, by up to 92%. And because we use node map compression for finite element data sets, we do also take advantage of that compression and get up to a 60% decrease in file size. And basically, you can see that our tests suggest that even at the smallest data file types, we do see some improvement. But as you get to larger and larger data sizes, you can see that you get uh, into the hundreds of times faster than our current data type. And that's the new Sizzle technology. Of course, results uh, vary depending on the type of uh, data we're looking at, but on average, we're looking at close to a 10 times improvement in overall speed ups. And memory utilization actually goes down substantially, and you can see that loading half a billion cells nominally takes less than 5 gigabytes of RAM, which is unheard of, uh, versus uh, over 40 gigabytes of RAM with our current implementation. So in this, we're going to walk through how you create Sizzle files. Any data file that is supported today in TechPot 360 EX can be converted to a Sizzle file. Notable exception today uh, would be data that is in polyhedral format. That is something that will be coming in 2014 towards the end of the year. Uh, conversions can be done interactively or in batch mode, and we're going to go through both examples. Okay. So in this tutorial, the first thing you need to do is find a suitable file for conversion. I'm going to use an S, uh, UAV data file that I've had in the past, and I'm going to open it. This data file was in a PLT format, but it's not really important. To write the data file out in subs and load on demand, you just select export or write data file. You select the file name, call it something like plain, I think I called this plain wing. And the idea is that it will write it out in the new subzone format. And if I hit save, if you look at the status bar, it will tell you it's exporting it and talk about some of the variable indexing. And when it's done, uh, you won't see anything because it will actually have been converted. So that's how you convert it if you wanted to convert this data, you wanted to do it interactively. Um, another way to do this would be to use uh, a macro. So in this case, we'll load the data file again. And the only difference here is that we're going to take advantage of some scripting, and we're going to record a macro. And this macro is purely going to be to convert a data file. So we can call this uh, something of consequence like a convert me or write uh, data, and we'll go ahead and save this. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about the uh, macro recorder. But we're just going to do the same thing, and you'll notice here that we'll call this uh, something different, like data, and we'll hit save. And you can see it's doing the same thing. It's converting the data file. It's saving out as an SCPLT format. We hit stop. Uh, you can go back then to that directory and look at the macro. You see that it has the command here, which is basically to write the, uh, the new data file type. So this is one way, and of course you can always manually edit this uh, macro to write out a data file with a different file name. Okay, So that is certainly one strategy, and it works pretty well, but it's not general. Uh, if you want to do a more general approach, let me show you how one can do that as well. So uh, we'll go ahead then and uh, let's look at uh, the data files that we want to create. So I'm going to go into my TechPlot working directory. That's typically where I keep uh, my macro files. And I've actually created a macro which is called convert data to sizzle. And you'll notice this one difference here, which is it says write data set and then says file name equals data file name. 
datafname.scplt. So whatever the data file name is, it will actually tack on the scplt. And we're going to take advantage of this macro. We're going to run it in batch mode. And to run in batch mode is really simple. Uh, you just use the tech360. And basically, that's going to call techplot360. In this case, it's 360ex. That's the one that, and minus b means in batch. Minus p, I don't think you need to worry too much about. And we put in the path to the data file or to the macro of interest, which the, uh, the data files are in the temp directory. So we'll start there. And I'll just copy this, although I could have probably typed it faster. And I'll just paste this in. So we know that the, the data file we want to convert is, uh, well, let's just make sure we know it's plain data for that wing. And so we can just write out plain data file for that wing dot plt. So it's a plt file, but it really wouldn't matter. It could be um, other data file types as well. You need to call a different loader. In this case, it's not important. OK, so we're saying techplot open this data file. And uh, we want to process it with a macro. So we're actually going to include the macro command in advance of the data file. So I'll just back up here using the keyboard. And uh, we'll go ahead and type this out. So in this case, I want to uh, go ahead and include the techplot working directory. And I'm going to put a path directly to the macro. And again, the macro I'm using is convert data to SZPLT. Now, uh, the thing that it's going to do, remember, is it's already going to take the file name from uh, the, the file of data file. So it's going to say uh, everything that you see here plus the SCPLT. So there'll be um, PLT.SCPLT. So that's going to execute. And you can see over in the window, it's actually written that out. And there's the data for, or plain data for that wing, .plt.scplt. And if I want to take a look at that file, I could just uh, either double click it uh, to load it, or I could actually load it from the command window. Lots of ways to get access to it. But if we uh, do take a look at it, a quick double click, and I'll make this a little smaller so you can see it. But basically, you can see that we've converted that data file. It's actually an SCPLT format, which we can confirm by going into dataset info and evaluate, look at the, the uh, data file, which is in this case the SCPLT format. And you can see that uh, all the variables are shown there. And that's how you convert your data. Thanks for watching. So hopefully that was helpful, and now you have a sense of how you can take data and uh, convert that data into sizzle format to leverage the new subzone loan and demand technology. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, contact me at the email address at the bottom of the slide. It's d.rittenberg at techplot.com. Thanks for watching.